sent me a you. message because I, 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 like an idiot, had the worst timing and had to throw a party at the last possible minute, and Howard called me back, and, dude, you sounded so content and happy. And, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying it, though. I really am. It sounds awesome. Well, Artie was uh, inviting me to his lovely new home, but I said, I'm not leaving my home to come to your home. <laughs> you have a lovely Artie's new home. I home but... twice. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Well, what's going on there? Well, what I went to that party that he threw, such mm -hmm. as it was. Right, whatever it was. <laughs> was there any food there? Um, there was food, but Artie's very funny. He says, Robin, uh, if you want to eat, there's, um, Sausage there's some and peppers. peppers. He, no, he didn't say there was sausage and peppers. Right. He you said there's you some pick the peppers, peppers in there, and there's the, lots of different kind of tomatoes. <laughs> well, the peppers were in the sausage and yeah. peppers, yeah. Uh -huh. and the tomato was in the mozzarella. Yeah, I know. Artie really knows how to take care of his guests. <laughs> well, no, I mean, everybody else loved it, but I know. But, Robin, I did. I picked the peppers. I had amazing pizza, sausage and peppers, meatballs, bread. I mean, everybody loved it, Artie, but you know. What was there to drink at your party? Well, I had uh, vodka, beer on Where tap. Where was the vodka? There was vodka in the freezer. Nobody knew that. Artie stayed in the shower about two hours. Wow, well, that was. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I had some company. Wow. He's like half. I, I I I had a uh, I really did have a half lake weekend. I'll explain it to you, but I had a, a girl over too, and. Um, I, it, it's, believe me, it's such a funny story uh, about what happened because Rob and I felt bad. I was upstairs in the shower. I love my new shower so much. I told you it's like one of those ones the jets are all yeah. up and it's a steam shower. <laughs> and he disappears in there. I mean, people, his front door was open. Anybody could have walked in. Yeah. There was no one and to I, greet you. And anybody did. But So when I got downstairs, Rob and I said, Rob, they said Robin and Jimmy here, but they went out to get some wine. And I said, oh, shit, I don't have wine. Bring anybody else who was in here. They were well fed Look, and drank. Wait a minute. I said to Robin Salem. Robin Salem's like, I knew I should have brought something for well, me to drink. Well, so, how about bringing wait, something to a house party? No, nope, she was told not to bring anything. Right. So, well, I mean, you know, except unless you're a fruit, bring rye. So we're standing around. First of all, I carried around a bottle of Dom Perignon that I had brought for Artie. Oh, that's nice. About five hours waiting for him to show up. And then I said, you know what? I'm sick of carrying this wine around. I set it down. There was nothing else to drink but beer and water in the house. No, there so was. There was soda, diet soda. Everyone was sitting around twiddling their thumbs. Robin and I decided we'd go out to get something to drink on our own, and we got a shopping oh, yeah. list. You were not missed. Oh, Listen, let me show you the shopping list. Can hey, someone get in here and defend me? That was the greatest party ever. <laughs> oh, it was and a fun party. And the vegan wine experts got to show up. Robin Salem. Even you have I agree with Robin. There were no Brussels sprouts and no bar if dogs. If somebody doesn't come in here to defend me right now, I'm, I'm never Artie, talking to you again. Artie. There was mounds of food. There was booze. There was beer. There was Robbie there was vodka. Tangeray. Oh, that's food. All of a sudden, he's with young broad. He's got tango and tonic. Well, did he have a bartender there? No. Oh. No. Yeah, I, but there was. No, I I would get it. I get people drinks the whole day. Please, are you, you in the shower? Really at the party. I was. Well, listen. What happened was here's the funniest thing happened. I had this chick there. Okay, I invite this chick. No wonder Artie's so blown out when he comes to my house because like I make sure people have what they need. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you know what? I'm getting a bad rap here, Wait man. A minute. Yeah. I heard, First of all, oh, I also heard that uh, about an hour before the party, you sent Teddy out to get chairs. Fuck him! <laughs> I pay him. Yeah. What? 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 What are you? You go get him yourself. Artie didn't even have chairs. Robin, you are no longer. You, you're never coming back. This is awful. The next day, she shows up with her boat. I get a phone I call. A place to sit. I get a phone call. She goes, "Where are you? I'm floating on the bay, and I got to go out on my Paris. I'm looking for Robin." And I'm like, "I don't know. I see like 18 boats." And Doug Goodstein, who came over, uh, he slept over. He was fishing at the end of my pier. I said, "Can you see Goodstein fishing?" And and I had to, I had to draw her in. That's you know. why he had to signal me from his terrace. Did you, you 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 piloted his, your own boat? I found no. No, it was Dennis, no. her captain. No. I piloted most of the way, but it's shallow. Oh, shit. There. Mm. Bullshit! You wouldn't know. <laughs> Thank you God. Were sleeping. Here, I've been handed a note. Artie called it a barbecue, but he only served pizza and sausages. <laughs> and peppers and meatballs. Whoever just put that up is never seeing the house again. Howard, can I tell you how the can I tell you how the party started? You can started? go fuck yourself. I had first of all, I had a I had a uh, listen. This is this is the funniest thing ever. I think. Yeah. 
There's this girl that I met on the road, okay? Okay. Her name is Jessica. She's from Pittsburgh. She recently moved to uh, New York. Lovely woman. Right. <laughs> uh, and um, she, uh, I, I, this is why it was such short notice. Uh, I get back from Afghanistan. Which yeah, by the way, Artie and Gary were in Afghanistan. Yeah. Right, right. And the only reason we kept calling it Iraq is because the USO, uh, yeah, the USO doesn't allow you to reveal where they're going. Right. It's, right. That, it's that crazy, you know. Right. And uh, so they, they went to Afghanistan, so I should clear that up. Right, okay. So yeah. I get back. It, it, we'll tell you that story. Uh, Howard, you talk about airport hell. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, we got back two days late, and I did want to have something, but... Uh, I said, fuck it. The first day down there, I'm going to try to just get laid. I'll invite a chick. Right. So I call this chick Jessica up, and she says she can come over. And then she says, but listen, I have plans with my friend who's really cute. Um, and she's single. Can I bring her, too? Sure. So I said, yeah, go ahead. And then I call up Teddy, and I'm thinking to myself, always thinking about the show. Mm -hmm. I said, uh, let me try to find J.D., and I'm going right. to get him down here, and I'm going to say, if I could get J.D. laid with this other chick who was really smoking. I was right. going to say, you think J.D. would have had a chance with her? Well, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows she what kind of so blood cute. she was? I would have pulled her aside and gave her... Maybe she's <laughs> mentally ill. I got J.D. a blowjob in Vegas. There's that's ways true, to do this. That's true. So, um, <laughs> so I, I called Daddy, and then he says, you know, J.D.'s out of town, and then I'm thinking... You know what? Where where are you? He goes, I'm at work. I said, you know what? Just send out an email and say, anybody who wants to come down, just come down from work. I said, make sure every single buddy gets it from Howard to Robin and Fred, Scott, the engineer. And he goes, okay. So uh, he calls me back, and, he's, and I keep getting texts now. Every, uh, some people said, about half the people came. So 30 people show up. Right. So I get on the horn to Joe Leone's and Johnny G's, these great restaurants down there. And I say, I need uh, a bunch of plates of meatballs, sausage and peppers, breads, about 10 pizzas, sausage, pepperoni, uh, bring some vodka, blah, blah, blah. And just get it here, because people are, that's how it was planned. Right. It was so, very, very off the uh, off And Teddy, the cup. go get some chairs. Right. So Teddy <laughs> right. showed up with, with one of his uh, deadbeat buddies, and I said, listen, go get chairs. A big deal. I <laughs> gave him an extra C note to get chairs. <laughs> so um, I uh, now it's a get-together, you know. I and uh, I wasn't sure if Robin was coming. Now, do people sleep over, or do they just yes, come for the day? some people slept over. Ra right. Ralph was at my house for the last three days. Uh, right. Uh, he finally uh, got there, uh, and he wouldn't uh, leave. Yeah. Uh, Ralph had a good time. We actually had some fun. Um, and uh, so now this girl who I have, I, I'll just say I've been with her before. Right. And this other chick are mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And um, I tell everybody, I said, look, the other chick is single. Try for her. But that guy, J.D., didn't come down because she was very cute. Did Only anybody a, hook up with the single chick? No. No. No, they didn't. She was very cute, but she was also uh, young. And you, I got the feeling she's not the kind of girl you bang, you know, on the first right. day. And this girl, Jessica, I took out a couple of times. She's not like, you know, they were different types of women. So, J.D., it wouldn't have worked out good. I That's don't what I was saying. If she didn't look like that kind right. of so girl. I mean, he could have had three days of rejection. Right. So, listen, so so now the girl's there. I bring her up to the man cave. But you know who did show up was Jared. And you know, I'm kind of curious. You don't usually mention a girl's name on the air, so you must be serious with this girl, uh, or you must have some, or she must want her name mentioned. Or you know, you're usually very quiet about the I'll ladies. Tell you, I'll tell you what. Um, yeah. I, uh, I I know she won't mind, but for some reason it just slipped my mind. Right. I, I mean, uh, her no. Well, I mean, first names are. I mean, it's fine. Her last name is Lang. Jessica Lang. The actor. <laughs> So if we get married, it won't be a problem. No, you know, it's funny. I, I, so you must really have some feelings for this girl. I've been with her a, a couple... You know, she goes back... Actually, she, she's a Pittsburgh girl like right. yours. Yes. Um, she admits to this, so she won't mind saying she's not quite as hot as your Pittsburgh girl. <laughs> she admits to that. She's, I think she's a solid... She's a solid New York eight and a half and a, well, Pittsburgh, a Pittsburgh 12, whereas I think Beth is a Pittsburgh 31 or something. I, I'll tell you, though, that sounds like a nice uh, matchup she's, there she's, for you. I, she's hot. She's got right. very hot. Well, right. let me tell you something, Howard. But, uh, all right, go ahead. But I, I really... Yeah. Howard's going to well, love this story. Me, he takes me in to see the sausage and peppers. No, the peppers. I'm picking out the peppers. For, what a pain in the ass. <laughs> 
like, yeah, you know, you're like if you, the peppers, the sauce is so great on these peppers. It is. And I'm like, doesn't he realize I don't want a sauce that has meat? <laughs> no, I don't realize that there's no meat in the sauce. There, there, it's there's meat. just meat. So it's sauce from the meat. Listen, when you invite, listen, I'm going to tell you something about entertaining. When you invite a. I'm a professional entertainer. <laughs> when you invite a vegan, you have to make accommodations for the vegan. Or a yeah. simpler way is. Don't invite me. <laughs> well, you were in. I would have. Well, you. you were in South fucking Jersey. There's no people think a vegan is not like a, a type of blind you put on a fucking window. So so now listen. So wait, wait, I, so I, I don't, wait, wait a minute. A, a vegan we're, blind? Yeah. A, a vegan blind. blind. We're. How do you make a vegan blind? You give them sausage. <laughs> we're you know looking at the trying to fish the peppers out of the sausage. I don't want to hear your version of this. <laughs> when his girl comes over and says. Artie, I wanted to spend some time with you, and I'm going to have to leave. Right, okay. Okay, this is funny. I right, yeah. so now this is a funny part. So, I, I didn't know if Robin was coming or not. I go up to my wonderful shower. Uh, I, I greet everybody, but I, of course I slept right up until the doorbell rang. Well, can so, I, I, greet, I, I, I greet everybody. I guess you had a lot of anxiety about the party. I, I, <laughs> you know what, Howard? When I got back from Afghanistan and Gary will say to this, I have no anxiety anymore. Wow. Because what those right? kids are going through, these fucking 19-year-old kids, what they're doing over there, I, 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 I almost want to cry when I think about it. And the conditions. Right. And, I, I, and And listen... I, I, hey, did I get a uh, word that you guys were in a helicopter firing off machine guns? Yes. You did? Did you fire on the enemy? No, no, no we just no, fired at the sand, but it was fucking, it was this, the most awesome is thing. Is there I've a ever... danger, like, that you guys could, like, hit some pedestrian or... Well, Howard, uh, you got to see where we were. There's no pedestrians. <laughs> There's Howard, no one in it's the fucking desert. sand as far as the eye can see. You could tell, you could tell. Okay, that's, believe me, there's two million stories. So just let me, you like this story. Nobody gets house. in trouble when you guys are firing off I don't know. Guns. I don't well, know. The, the helicopter pilot, okay, we're on a Black Hawk helicopter, all right? Right. Be because, quite frankly, they said to us, look, <laughs> you know, you guys, we think you're funny and everything, but you're not, you know, like Robin Williams or Billy Crystal. You're going to places where, you know, they're, they're real remote bases. You're going to hell. We These went 145 miles north of Kandahar. Right. right. Like in the fucking desert. Like right. like anyone knows where the fuck Kandahar is right, anyway. Really? Right. So I, uh, so we fly in a military jet to Kand uh, plane to Kandahar, which was an experience. And then they said, we do a show in Kandahar. Went really good. And then the next morning, that this really great guy, Jeff Anthony, who's a Vietnam vet, and he was our USO guy, he says, all right, before we go to bed that night, he comes in with huge flap jackets, bulletproof vest, helmets. He goes, all right, now tomorrow, you're going to need to put these on, so i got to show you how to put them around. <laughs> so, of course, mine doesn't fit. It was so embarrassing. I have such a great picture of Artie. I saw it with his belly hanging out of yeah. his flak well, jacket. Is it flak or flak? It's flak. Flak jacket. We spent the whole week not correcting Artie. Right. The and next day. Flap jacket. Flap jacket. Uh, Garrett, Garrett, Garrett. Pancakes, <laughs> flapjacks. Garrett, uh, oh, yeah. all right. Look at Artie. There he is. There's military Artie. Yes. Afghan Artie. I should, let me, I should have corrected Gary about a few things called jokes. But anyway. Flapjacks. So, by the way, they had, Wait a they had flapjacks there. They so I, but tell I, him I, how in the, you had to fly in the cockpit. I'm trying to. All right. So... <laughs> So uh, the next morning, Gary's fits like a glove. The Apollo, you know, Florentine, you know, everybody. <laughs> this guy Jeff Anthony, not the, not that it means anything. He's a black guy, yeah. and uh, Vietnam vet. And um, the next morning, I walk out, and uh, and he, clearly it doesn't fit. So I'm walking over to him, <laughs> and um, we're about to get on a Black Hawk helicopter. And it's so funny. He was the greatest guy, and he anticipated everything because he was a nom. He didn't care about it. He before I say it doesn't fit, he sees me coming down the hall. He goes, "Brother, I'm way ahead of you. There's an extender in the back." Wow. <laughs> they got such a thing as an extender. Yeah, so he extended it, and and well, Nick was my roommate, so Nick had to put my my jacket on with the bulletproof vest, and then the helmet fit. Whatever. So, but this picture I'm looking at, the extender barely worked. I mean, your your belly is still yeah. Well, sticking they, they can still yeah. shoot him in the belly. I wasn't. I, yeah, I was, you, it, like it, like how's that going to protect you? Just, you take a bullet in that belly. Over there. I don't, you know, at this point, I didn't give a shit because uh, where we had a shit every night was, quite frankly, I'd rather right. be dead. Right. <laughs> um, oh.
So, um... Is that right? Was the, were the I didn't conditions? think it was that bad. Yeah, well, Gary, you know, you're not as classy as No, me. no. I thought for, for being in the middle of the desert, it makes shit... No, they, of, I thought the shitter was much nicer than I expected. Really? And I'll tell you what. I said if the shitters that I have on the road in most of the cities were as nice, I'd be happier because... The Army, me and Guy were talking about this. The budget is so big, they go to these, uh, you know, deserts, and they build a mini city. You know, it's... Is the toilet worse than K-Rocks? Remember how bad it was? I, can I just... I, no, I, but I, I think it, they flew in the same pubic hair that was on K-Rocks' right. faucet for 20 yeah. well, years. When you get a 1,000 right, guys... Quick, uh, quick questions and answers, because, you know, we could be here all day. Well, I, so, so, yeah, so, so let me just tell... I, I, let me yeah, tell yeah. the... I, I, the broad story is funny too at my house, but anyway, we did shoot the the gun, so I'll get to that right after this. Okay. I promise. So before Robin and and, and uh, Jim got there, I went upstairs and I'm taking a shower, and I did take a long shower, and it was a steam, and so I missed when they got there. So when I went down, they were they went out for one. And I'm like, fuck, Robin came here. She's been here a while. I'm not even at the party. The host. So well, the, I don't, that I don't understand. Hey, can I, can I, you can, had people come into the house and you were in the shower the whole time. Well, no, 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 no. I agreed at every. That right. Robin was there. <laughs> Robin and Jim were there late. So right. I greeted everybody, and uh, you know I don't give a shit. I know these guys. I say I got to go shower. I didn't shower yet. Just when people get here, tell them where the food is. I'm going to go shower. Howard, can I jump in for a second? What do people do? They swim, oh, and they shower, and they... Yeah, right. I, say, I say do it. No. I got an outdoor do shower. I say do whatever the fuck you want. All right. So the, all I want to say is, Artie, because this, no, this gets it started. Artie hates you right now. I know. It, it's oh. ending it. All right, fine. No, go ahead. Say what it is, no, God. I'm sure it's hilarious. Oh, God. Jesus fucking Christ. Go ahead, Gary. Well, you guys short... <laughs> no, I, we got a little great. I've seen a lot of Gary lately. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen a lot of Artie. No, go yeah. ahead, Gary. I called Artie at noon to thank him for inviting me, and I woke him up, and he goes, oh, my God, thank God you woke me up. Everyone's coming in 20 minutes. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. That was funny. So, anyway, I, I, um, I, <laughs> I'm glad you interrupted for that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so but you uh, wanted Gary in here. You uh, wanted him to. No, uh, for for the mil he, for the military stories. Yeah, we're gonna need each other. But he wasn't even at the party. Oh. <laughs> so um, so I miss Robin for that. So I get out of the shower, and the girl, the the girl Jessica, and the other girl are there. And um, I go downstairs. I spend some time with Robin, and I'm telling the Afghanistan stories by the pool and everything. And I'm trying to pick peppers out of the meat sauce. <laughs> And then about, I'm only with Robin now for about a half an hour. Right. And the girl comes up to me, and I, I thought she was staying all night. And she says, um, listen, uh, my friend's got to leave, and she's my ride. i got to leave in like a half an hour. And I'm like, oh, oh I thought you were staying. She's like, no, I'm sorry. Where's she going, back to Pittsburgh? Uh, she had to go to New York, and then, yeah, something. She had to go to New York for a, a job. I don't. Oh. I won't say what she does for a living, but she right. had to go around. So she goes, but... Uh, you know what Robin overheard? Yeah, I want to spend some time with you. I want to spend some wow. time with you. I want to. She goes, uh, you know, uh, she's not like a stripper or anything, but she goes, uh, I've been practicing like uh, like lap dancing, and I want to. I get want to give you a lap dance. So oh, I said wow. a, pri a private lap dance. So I'm like, you know what, Robin can handle herself. This is fine. <laughs> uh, the other girl really wasn't like into anybody, uh, but very nice. So I put her up in the man cave and let her have Hang fun out. and. You know, I mean, look, I wanted her to clap her hands so she wouldn't steal anything. <laughs> uh, and I go into my room with this girl, and she goes, oh, I want to give you a lap dance. So I shut all the shades, uh, but the door is a little ajar, and I'm on the third floor, and you can hear people, like, whatever, sort of talking on the pool. And she says, I, I need I need music. So I don't have a radio in there yet. She goes, I, so I, now I'm, like, so fucking horny. I'm, I got the TV on. I got the digital cable. I'm trying to find a fucking music channel. Right. I'm like, w what are you? What kind of music you like? She goes, and, and you know how these young girls, she's in her 20s. Why don't you have Teddy come up and sing? Well, yeah, really. He could have his feet. That, that would have been romantic. That would have been romantic. So anyway, um... I'm like, what kind of music do you like? And you know how these younger girls now, they know, like, there's so many different types of music, like, right. mixed Hip, with other pop, types. mixed with uh, jams, yeah. mashes. Right, mash exactly. Ups, so she, mash called, up. Yeah. She goes, do you have any, like, uh, hip-hop with a reggae rap? Do you have a Nas featuring Rihanna? Uh, you know, blankety blank MC fuckface. You know, and I'm like, I don't know. So I see, I see rock, I see classic rock. I, uh, finally, I get to a rap uh, thing and it's a good sign because there's a Biggie Small song on. Right. And I really do like a lot of Biggie Small. I think that right. guy was a talented rapper. So I said I could deal with this. She goes, this is fine. So I put it up, uh, you know, as loud as 
uh, I can without disturbing the guests who <laughs> have no food. And uh, she starts giving me a lap dance. Now, wow. again, now again I, I, I've been with the girl before. So. Right. So, <laughs> so she uh, she gets dr uh, undressed. See, that's hot. She's wearing like she's wearing like a, a thong. You know, right. And a uh, really nice bra. And she starts giving me a lap dance. And she's like trying to imitate strippers, like what they do. But right. she was being real sort of like sensuous. Yes. And she, we couldn't do it on the bed. There was no leverage. So I brought a chair over. <laughs> right, by like the, a strip club. Right, right, exactly. So I put a chair over by the bed. Hmm. Now, um, I like that. I start like necking with her and she wasn't stopping me. And uh, <laughs> and then I did the greatest move ever for a man my size. I sort of, I sort of, she came into me and I sort of grabbed her. And I sort of just did like a roll onto the bed. <laughs> From the chair? Yeah, oh. very nice. It was like Earl Monroe. You still have the move. I, I do. <laughs> but the thing Good is, I, I could have crushed her. <laughs> so we get on the bed, and I start making out with her. And uh, again, the girl, she's like 25. Cool. You know. So the... the the lap dance is over at this point. At this You've point, ruined she it. said, well, well, she right. said, look, I, you get the special treatment, so she took her bra off. Right. And uh, now I'm taking shit off, you know. Right. And, I'm, and at this point, I'm really, really upset that Robin had no wine. <laughs> um, and, and, uh, but you do have to have wine at a party. Uh, yeah, right. I know. <laughs> I mean, not everyone drinks Jack Daniels. At a fag party, you gotta. <laughs> so I, uh, I, I roll her over onto the bed. And her bra comes off. Right. And, uh, you know, I start kissing her. She doesn't stop me. And I take her, you know, panties off. One thing led to another. I don't know. I mean, you know, we... Right. we uh, you made love. We, we, uh, <laughs> we did what came naturally. And... Um, uh, Sounds like a great girl, actually. Yeah. Now, uh, did one of your friends accidentally walk in on you? No, that would have been a great addition. Of John, well, that, that would be like a strip club. <laughs> John, yeah, right, exactly. If John Hine came in and started asking her, uh, you know, Happy Days trivia. So I. Uh, but I was handed a note that said you didn't get laid because, oh, maybe I, this will ruin the story. I don't know. What? Is this where you're ending up? That, that she was on her period? No, who said that? She announced she was on her period. Who no, 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 I didn't hear that. That's what these what? guys are writing. No, she was not on her period. He was no. there. He was away long <laughs> enough that they must have. She was not on her period. She, uh, she was fine. There was no, uh, like, uh, 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 I don't know why they're giving me that note. Uh, Everyone fucks me up. Go yeah. ahead. So, anyway, so yeah. I roll over on the bed, and, uh, you know, uh, one thing leads to another, and whatever. It's like, you know. But the door was ajar, okay? Yeah. So, I kind of hear everything and now i always talk about like if robin was laughing at oh, you naked how how like right. really embarrassing it would be so while i'm lying there naked i hear robin laughing <laughs> and, I'm there, and i'm sitting there going oh my god this is, is like outside the door this is like living a nightmare and it's like ah. you know what robin's i like laughing. about this story i don't know artie's new girl but She's not my new girl. We're not. We're not. I don't know who this is, but I'm saying a girl. Oh, she easy, did. Robin. She, she, she really took care of Artie. Yeah, I'm saying, boy, you know, even if you've been with a girl, and then she says, I'm going to give you a lap dance. Yeah. That's really yeah. hot. I think a lot of chicks now, because that's so public. Um, right. It's the big new thing that the, the yeah. stripper pole and the jazz, you know, they have those those classes. Where right. The aerobics classes. Oh, you can learn how to strip. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I... Uh, Look at you like Hef with the new house so and chicks running uh, around well, let me and lap tell dances. You, after he had his, yeah. you know, fun, he basically threw everybody out. No, Did he really? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> She's Marty, you came down and you said, all right, let me give you a tour of the house. That's what I did. Yeah, I said, let me, how's that throwing you out? Hold it. He gives us a little tour of the house, and then he looked at us and said, aren't you going to leave? I did. You know what? Now, oh. now, she's, now she's lying. Wow. <laughs> what are you guys going to do? Leave? Robin, you're lying. That's how I am. I have parties, and I, I can't wait for everyone to go. Now Robin is outright lying. I mean, she's outright lying. She says she's say saying. That? I did not say that. Oh, you did too. No, no, I didn't. Everybody else had already gone. No, they didn't. Oh, my Robin's getting everything wrong. Does Robin stay too long at the fair? Do you know, do you know, the, you know the website, robinswrong.com? Right. You're uh, going to start for long. I'm gonna, I got a bunch of entries. I'm going to get on my little fucking uh, Blackberry. So Robin, you this would, is how it felt to me. I, uh, you felt like, not so welcome. What are you guys going to do now, Lee? 
leave? <laughs> no, no, I did not say that. Party wanted to go back to bed and shower. Some of my friends, uh, you know, maybe are, are racist. Maybe you're uncomfortable. I don't know. <laughs> no, but Artie did take another shower. That's what, well, you know, these showers last for. <laughs> well, the girl was on her period. Anyway. <laughs> so you constantly shower. <laughs> I, cause when you're fat and it's, uh, you know. Yeah. Plus, I love the shower. I'm wow. telling you. I, was, I wanted to write my book in the so shower. So the party was no wine. Mm -hmm. No, no. Artie's in the shower when you arrive. Right, and then Artie showers. No, no, some you more. got there late. And then he gets his lap dance, and then. <laughs> and then he throws you out. You got there late. I said, Sorry, this, I missed it. This was the second funniest party I had ever been to. Yeah, well, it's a guy party, you know. You shouldn't it have was. been there. I said it was a sausage party. Right. <laughs> People are in the pool enjoying it. I, I, I don't know what they are. We had a great time. Anyway, Len, you're on, Len, you're on the air in Brick, New Jersey. Hi, Len. Hey, I saw Robin on Friday pulling up to Artie's house on her boat, and I saw her on the dock, and she was dressed in a uh, wetsuit. Do you a, wear a wetsuit? No, I wasn't wearing a wetsuit. How does it feel, Robin? Someone's lying. There's another one. A, a, flap, a flapjack. A flapjack. <laughs> she, hate, she hated it so much, she was over the next day. I couldn't get rid of her. So now she has a destination with that boat on Oh, my God, yeah. And it's, uh, actually... Robin actually looked very good. Yeah. Oh my God! Well, she's she, lost a lot she, of weight. She had, she had these, these black short shorts on. <laughs> well, really, with yeah, ass on and, and and her, the captain of her boat, Dennis, is a real nice guy, like a guy's guy. You wore short shorts? Yeah. Wow. I'm Hot her? pants? No. Well, I don't know. How short are they? They were Daisy Dukes. Were they, were they, did the bottom of your ass hang out? No. That would be a Daisy Duke. Mm, right. I'm telling you, she, she looked fucking good. I mean, I, I'm, I'm she's like... She's got to. she got a big man in her life. Yeah, I know, but I, I really... A lot of pressure there. I'm really happy that, you know, she said she was going through all that shit, like, nearly dying. You know, like I'm going through now. <laughs> and uh, But she rolls up in this boat. She's got this beautiful boat, you know. Right. And, uh, uh, you know, it... it Martin Luther King must love this. A white guy's driving her in a beautiful boat, and she's ordering him around. She's like, Dennis, park the boat there. <laughs> On the phone, you said something, though. You're running out of water. That means it was getting too shallow. Yeah, Peter. we were churning a little mud. Cause oh. we, you know, if you don't find the channel, we didn't know exactly where it was because there are no... Real markers. Yeah, sometimes I can't find the right house. channel and I go into some mud tow. <laughs> and so when, once we found the channel, we were pretty okay because we oh, were okay. afraid we couldn't get there. All right, All right. Dominic Barber, you're on the air. Oh. Welcome back, everyone. When we get to Afghanistan, can we go right from the beginning? Well, I was trying to interview the boys about Afghanistan, but... I don't know. It didn't go uh, well. But right from the beginning, because we're all like bated breath. We've heard all sorts of stories that they were attacked. Right. All right, Dominic, I'll handle it. Dominic made the page, uh, the, the Russia Malloy article. Yeah, they but, quoted um, him. Anyway, uh, it, it was great having Robin. Yeah, it was you guys fun. are a little she bit... She docked her boat, and I, I, I got on her boat, too, in the back just to end this, and... I mean, my God, I don't know if you remember, there's a table back there, like, you know, I'm sounding like a Jersey jerk off, but <laughs> the boat had, like, a table on it. But you could sit there and have, like, a party of six people with drinks, and it's beautiful. And she she docked it right on my uh, perpendicular, and I don't know, I think me and Robin are going to become an item, I think. Wow. I, think so. I think I'll have to come pick up Artie Love the Boat. Are you and, happy, Robin, you have somewhere to go with your boat now? Dennis and I were so happy we didn't know what to do with ourselves. Yeah. How long you did see, it take? You see, Robin bought a boat and has nowhere to go. With it. I love getting on and, the boat and just going, and she, but it was fun to go somewhere. Right, you wanted change. a destination, because I know people with boats, and I don't get the whole boat thing. Right. It's not something that interests you me. You would never get a boat? Never. Not even a yacht or no, anything? I don't understand. Fun. I don't understand it. It's just not me. I'm not a boat guy. Once I'm on there, I'm, I feel trapped. Right. And, uh, I love them, but... Yeah, and it's like, you know, you get on there, and I have friends like this, and they're like, oh, and they finally have a destination. <laughs> oh, my God, they're so happy. Like, they feel like they're Columbus, and they're going to go find exactly. the new world. Gonna, and that was what it was like. We found Artie's house. Yeah, so now that Robin has somewhere to go, she's going to be at your house, like, every weekend. Her because... Ralph Zolar is going to be floating by. Yeah, I mean, no, because Robin now has, like, oh, I know, I'll drive over to Artie. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know what? You're right about that because when I was growing up, my uncle Frankie had a small boat, uh, a small uh, house on a lagoon. Right. And uh, he had a guy across the street from him that had a boat 
that had enough radar equipment to sail from here to Madrid, <laughs> and he would go up and down the lagoon and just wave hi, and then just right. he, he did nothing. No, there's nothing. It's That's endless right. water. Remember, well, Rob, remember yeah. the story when we went to, on Dominic's boat, we were going to the Mohegan Sun. Yeah. Remember, we did that together. Right. And you seemed to enjoy that, because I remember we were talking on the boat, and it was kind I of I tried to make the best of it, but I did not enjoy it. But I was telling Robin, because Robin has that real cool thing where when you go down, there's like a bed in, at the, like sort of the uh, the bow, the, what is, what's the it's front? The bow, yeah, yeah. But, you know, there's a cabin below. And you could lay down there, and I remember on the way back from the Mohegan Sun, I was tanked, and I was trying to sober up by letting the wind hit me, and then Howard had enough, so he, him and Richie Notar went downstairs, and about 20 minutes later, we go down here, and it was, it was just a funny scene. Howard and Richie Notar are on that little bed, bullshitting with each other, and it looked like pillow talk after that. That's funny. You were down, like, because it's comfortable. I don't like the wind hitting me in the face every minute, so I went down there to relax. It was I mean, and I can't talk when the fucking wind is in my <laughs> mouth, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm yelling. To some, and then it's just also futile. I, I, know. I agree, because when I was talking I to it. you, I felt bad, because I, I remember boats. going to the Mohegan Sun. <laughs> I do. I I hate boats. I wish they never invented the boat. Oh well, my Dominic, God. we wouldn't be here if they hadn't invented the boat. I We're, wish the you know man is not meant to be on the water. Uh, first, Columbus <laughs> got here first on a boat. First of all, She's taking a plane. <laughs> what an asshole. First of all, Dominic uh, almost killed the person on the boat right. that they and then. But let me get let, let, let me stop you for a minute because people are curious and Dominic brings up a good point. Okay, so you guys went to.